Monsoon in Maharashtra completely changes the landscape of the region. The lush green surroundings and a drop in the atmospheric temperature make for a perfect time to hit the road for short weekend drives. Electric vehicles have been the buzzword not just in the global automotive scene but also here in India. And to make our road trip, a single day road trip, a little more interesting, we thought about doing things a bit more differently. EVs are without an iota of doubt the future of personal mobility and we can already see short glimpses of this future today. But while our tomorrow is all about green mobility, what about today? Can you really live with an EV today? And to answer that question, we are going to put the Mercedes-Benz EQC through a couple of tests. And for an EV to be your only car, it has to be road trip worthy. So in this first test, we are going to drive the EQC from the Mercedes plant in Chakan all the way up to the Kas Plateau in Satara, which is roughly a distance of about 350 kilometers. And to make it all the more authentic, we are going to do it in a single full charge. With the EQC and us fully charged and the large MBUX screen navigating the way ahead, we set out southwards from Chakan to Satara. For the most part, NH48 is an arrow straight highway and it would have taken tremendous self-control on our part to not go all guns blazing had the roads not been patchy and busy. To make matters worse, a heavy downpour did all it could to make the visibility rather poor. But thankfully, the EQC's LED headlights worked well even in such horrid weather conditions. As we left the highway, the road became narrow and twisty. Despite staying in the comfort mode in the interest of efficiency, the EQC felt sure-footed and predictable during the hill climb. What also helped here, of course, was the availability of all the talk right from the get-go. In fact, it made driving the car not just exciting but also very addictive. Smoothly and quickly, we made our way up the hill towards Panchkini where we stayed the night. Even after the long and tiring journey of day one, I woke up fresh and excited to see the spectacular palette of colors that cars had to offer. Spread over an area of 10 square kilometers, Kas is a reserved forest and a UNESCO World Natural Heritage Site, which is home to over 850 species of flowering plants, including orchids, kavi, and even some carnivorous plants. Dubbed as Maharashtra's Valley of Flowers, the Kas Plateau transforms into a spectacular carpet of colorful flowers around this time of the year. But as luck would have it, Kas wasn't quite the colorful blanket as we remembered it to be in the past. After a quick chat with some locals and officials, we discovered that the blooming patterns of flowers were impacted this year because of a delay in the monsoon season. Blame it on global warming if you wish. Unsatisfied with the anticlimactic turn of winds, we decided to explore the region for some more exciting vistas. A quick search online reveal a few interesting places within accessible distances. Aside from the Kas Plateau, Satara is known for its waterfalls and windmill farms. A short drive later, we landed at a massive windmill farm, a fitting and picturesque backdrop for the EQC. We came to Kas to experience its flora in all its glory. but. With the unrelenting monsoons refusing to bid goodbye even in October, the Kas Plateau, the Valley of Flowers, wasn't quite blooming in its full potential. And it wasn't quite impressive as we've always known it to be. Thankfully though, it wasn't quite the case with the EQC. It has a calm demeanor that really impresses you and really feels good when you're out on a road trip like this. And when you want performance, it is just a tap of the pedal away. 
something that we really found enjoyable and fun on these narrow twisty roads of the Western Ghats. But can you really live with an EV? Can you really take it for a 250 to 300 km short drive without range anxiety constantly playing on your mind? Well, the short answer is definitely yes. In our next test, we will be living with the EQC for a week to find out how it performs as a daily driver in the city. So stay tuned for that as well. Ooh.